Another half hour of games, gags, and other stuff. So you better batten down the hatches and settle in if you are into a bumpy road. It's Bezel's Game Show. Can you take the piss? What nothing? Melvin. 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 Melvin! 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 Melvin. What? Nothing. Uh. <laughs> what nothing? Okay, it's the first round of games. Dunk beds for the Beijing Olympics. Get him! Let's meet the team. We are the Zebras, black and white. We're gonna win this swap shop fight. We are the bees, we are the bees. We're gonna sting you, sting you good. We're gonna sting you like we should. Bees, bees, go bees. We are the tigers, hear us roar. We are gonna get the highest score. Okay, it's a knockout challenge. Only three teams will start, but only one team will have the chance to win. And go home with all the big prizes! Ooh! Boom, boom. Okay, the zebras are dancing. Basil, get yourself into position, please. Oh, yes, running all the way. Dunk fans. Whee! Lovely. Okay, Ben from London, you're on the bed. How are you feeling? Really scared but excited. This has got to be a good push, OK? You've got to establish that you are here and mean business. Gonna Sophia, you're going to win? Yeah, I'm going to win. OK, Sophia, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Basil, we're all set. As always, it's go on the pay of the push. Three, two, one, push! It's a bit slow, but sometimes these can... Oh, no. Come on, you can do it. I was going to say, sometimes they just keep running, but that's not going anywhere near the scoring zone. We're in the minus points at minus 500. Let's go to Frosty. A little bit more oosh than the push, and Frosty's confirming the scores on his fridge doors as minus 500 for the zebras. Yes, get it right, Frosty. Thank you. Decide to be on. We're about to find out. Okay, Katie, how are you feeling about this push? Nervous. Minus 500 to beat, though. That's not a bad score to go for for your first go. So, Alex, it's all down to you, mate. A nice strong push. Let's get some points. Basil, we're ready. Float like butterflies, but sting like bees. Going in three, two, one, push! Come on down to Basil. Come on down. You can do it. Push than the first one. Come to Basil. I don't think it's going to Come to Basil. Come to Basil. Minus 200. It's settled on minus 200. Let's go to Frosty and confirm it. The scores are in Frosty's big paws for his fridge doors, confirming the bees with minus 200 points. Not quite so backwards. <laughs> OK, it's up to the Tigers now to show us what they're made of. Cameron, if you score zero points, that will put you in the lead so far in the game. Happy with that? Yeah. Two ways to score zero points, Kyle. One is to actually get zero, the other... Push him in the gun. Let's see what happens, Basil. Put your bets into it, Tigers. Going in three, two, one, push! Oh. Come on! Is it a good push? Oh, come on, bring it down. It might be a... Is it a scoring oh. point? Do you know what? I think it might be a really high scoring push. It's a ten. Oh. 25. It's stuck on 25 points. Let's go to Frosty and make it official. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. A very positive push there from the Tigers. They get 25 points! Yay! Just confirming the scores at the halfway point of this week's dunk beds. I can confirm the Zebras are trailing at the moment with minus 500 points. The Bees are in second position with minus 200 points. But the Tigers, they're roaring into a commanding lead with 25 points! Yay! Bring on the next round! Yeah, 
You're right, it is normally double dunk, but we thought, you know, what the heck? Let's ramp it up a bit. It is now triple dunk, which means that any points you score here, three times is what they're going to be worth. Oh, Excited about that? Yeah. What are you going to go for? 500. 500, please, oh, Kyle. Hey. Your best 500 push, please. All right, Basil, we're all ready. Come on, Tigers, triple those scores with your claws. Here we go. Three, two, one, push! Come on. Come from Basil. Like it's it's curling. It's a great push. It is. We need a brush at this side. Come on down to Basil. Oh, it could oh, be this spell disaster for the Tigers. Oh, that is just in to minus 50, definitely. Let's go to Frosty and confirm what that does to the scores. OK, confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. It's triple dunk this time. They scored minus 50. We tripled that to minus 150. But they did score 25 points in the first round, so it is, in fact, minus 125 points for the Tigers! How quick are you, Frosty? I just read that and had a new idea for a game. Trifle dunk. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Straight into a bowl of trifle. Oh, lovely. Anyway, let's talk about the business at hand. Minus 200 so far. You've got to get a triple on this to beat the score from the first round. Are you feeling OK? Yeah. What score do you think will put you through? Um, probably zero. Uh, if you get zero, it's going to be a zero, of course, because three times zero is nothing. So you want to go higher than that, Katie? You up for the task? Yeah. Basil, we're ready. Can the bees fly into the lead? You'll find out in three, two, one. Push! Come on, make it a good push. That's a very strong push. Oh, it's quite a big push. A very strong push. Come on. It's slowing down quite nicely. Is it going in the drink? Do you know what? This might be. It could be an excellent score. This might be a thousand, you know. Whoa! That is a hundred points. Let's go to Frosty and confirm the scores. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. They scored 100 points. We triple it, which makes 300 points. We then combine that. Are you all right there, Frosty? We combine that with their first round score of minus 200 points. They, in fact, finish up with 100 points. Cool, this is making my brain hurt. Big cheers all round. We've got to find out how the Zebras are going to do. Now, listen, Benjamin, you've got to score 250 points, OK? You have to score 250 on this run to go through. OK. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Yes. All right, Basil, let's do it. It's all or nothing for the Zebras. Can they kick the Tigers into touch? Find out. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> Come on, Zebras, strong make it push. a Oh, I might be too strong. Oh, they they might be too strong. Do you know what? It's looking good. They it's really looking have gone good. Through. Frosty's fridge doors. A magnificent 500 points. We triple it in this round to make 1,500 points. Take away the minus 500 points they scored in the first round. Makes a magnificent 1,000 points for the Zebras. They can take the pressure. Look at those cheesy smiles right there. Look at that. The Zebras know they pulled a blinding push out of the bag there, which took them through to the next round. Well done, so the Bees and the Zebras, you're through. Well done. Sadly, though, that means we've got to say goodbye to the Tigers. Sorry, fellas, but look, you've got your Wheeler and Pencil Sharpeners. There you go. And, of course, they get something else, Basil. They get their G-R-H, their Gorilla Ride home. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for playing. To our Tigers. Bye -bye. It's all good. So, we give you the Zebras and the Bees. Bring on the next round. Graveyard of Terror. <laughs> Welcome to Bethel's Graveyard of Terror. Without further ado, I shall begin. Over the hill, and through the valley, across the town, and down the alley. Get as ready to be terrified as you possibly can, for here comes the see-through horror of the invisible man. Here comes the see-through horror of the invisible man. Uh. Um, the invisible man? Invisible man? Yep. Oh, great. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Why not make a fool of me? Why don't you? Yeah, not only can I not trust you to turn up in a decent costume, and I can't trust you to turn up at all. Um, yeah. uh, right, um, I'll see you next time on Basil's Graveyard of Terror.
Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. I can see right through the lot of you now. I can see through that. Too. Well, I thought that was quite good. There's just no pleasing some people, you know. Graveyard of Terror. Okay, so it's the second round of games, and it's the bees versus the zebras. Yes, and it is also Easter weekend, yeah! the most important weekend in any egg social calendar. And of course, the birds who lay them, like Rod the emu. <laughs> <laughs> Cracky. Who's laying him? You're the emu. <laughs> I would say that is a team effort. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, I think he's got a hot cross bum. <laughs> Get him. Bam, bam! Don't worry, though, because Rod here is free-range. You know, he actually quite enjoys laying the eggs. Just as well, really, isn't it? Uh, we're going to need a lot for this next game. Yeah, I'm feeling peckish for this game. Feed me eggy bread. Yeah! Well, we've got the eggy. Uh, and I've got the bread. We've got the white bread here. Team Zebra's being represented hey! by that. And over here, Team B is represented by the brown hey! bread. Now, the game is very simply just uh, throwing and catching an egg game, OK? Now, these are the eggs, more like water balloons, really. This is what you've got to do. Get these eggs from this basket here to that basket over there. Now, you do it like this. You throw the egg very carefully to your partner who catches it and throws it back. Your partner then takes a step further back to make it more difficult. Same again. Throw the egg, catch it. Whoa! And throw it back. Nicely done. Of course, without it bursting. The final throw, I'm going to do one throw. Whoa! Ah! And it burst. Now, if that does happen, of course, you would have to start again. But the idea is that when the egg gets to that side, you turn around, put it in the basket. The team with the most eggs in that basket wins at the end of the game. Okie dokie. We're going to put a minute and a half on the clock. So, eggy, weggy, ready. Are you eggy, weggy, ready? We're going in three, two, one. Check away! Gently does it. Nothing, that's it. Oh, Nothing, I've dropped it. You've got to throw it back from the same line. You've got to throw it back from the same line. Start again. OK, throw it back. Now move back. OK, Alex, well done. Come on, Zebris. Careful. Oh, well played. In the basket. Oh, yep. Egg in the basket? It's no yolk, is it? Team B's have got the first egg in the basket. Great play here. Oh, oh wait, it hasn't burst. It's stopped. Back Come on, start. Zebra. That's it. Well played, Alex. Right. Gently does it. Gently does it. Team Zebras are going back to the start now. They haven't got one oh, yet. Bees. Team Bees are still ahead. Come back on, to the start, Alex. Well done. Oh, the egg's gone. Excellent try. Ready? That's it. Try and cushion it as you catch it. Oh, no chance. Come on, Katie, you can do it. Gently. Oh. oh, dear. You're getting splattered, Zebras. That's what it's all about. Now that's good, Telly. Take a step back, Alex. Okay, on the line, throw it back, throw it back. It's well held. Oh, come on, Casey, you've got to catch these eggs on the way back. Back to the beginning, Alex, back to the beginning. That's it. Okay, now to that one. Catch it! Oh! That's it. That's it. Oh, quick! Back to the start again, Alex, unlucky. We've got eight seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five. five. Three, Just in the nick of time. Two, one. Okay, time's up, time's up, time's up. Great eggy action there. It means a dead heat, so we're going to have to have a chuck off. Thank you, Basil. So the first team to pop or drop one is out of the game. Girls, you're going first. Best of luck to both teams. I'm going to count you down from three and I'm going to say chuck it. And that's when you chuck it. Three, two, one, chuck it. Oh! Alex, you were so close to dropping that then. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, chuck it. Oh, oh! They both dropped it. Wish you're still in the game. You're still in the game. Another egg. Another egg. Oh, if one of you had caught that, then you'd have won. You ready? Three, two, one, chuck it. Oh! Unlucky, unlucky. The bees winning catch. Oh, and the agony. And the egg. 
ecstasy. It was a close call in the end, but that means we have got to say goodbye to the zebras. Sorry about that, guys. But look, you've got your wheelie bin pencil sharpeners. There's yours. There's yours. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. Lovely. OK, you've got your wheelie bin pencil sharpeners. There's one more thing, though. What's that, Basil? They get their G-R-H. They're gorilla, right? Oh, yeah. See you later, guys. Yeah, I think I'll get that sandwich to go. Once upon a time, in a sitting room far, far too close for my liking, a bunch of clueless super geeks sat around doing nothing. Well, time is up. Prepare to be shocked. This is the final chapter. You know what, Forager? What's that, Red Melvin? I don't think I've ever been this happy. Ah, oh, yeah, me neither. Me neither. I mean, just look at us. We got fizzy pop, got food, bit of telly. <laughs> <laughs> Life doesn't get much better than this, my friend. Certainly beats crime fight, you know. True, true. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> 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 go on, son. <laughs> oh, egg. <laughs> Definite egg there. Yeah. Do you want some beef to go with your egg? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I, should, I should check that. Mm. Oh, good. Do you know what? <laughs> really got to savour these moments. We've really got to focus on these golden days, you know? Because you never know when someone's going to come along and ruin it all for you. you know? Hiya, losers. I'm so bored waiting for you to come and defeat me. I've decided to come over and defeat you instead. See you in a minute. bye bye did you see? Yep. Does that mean? I think so. <laughs> hey, guys, 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 quiet. You're not going to believe what I saw. Yeah, we are. We just saw it. It's it terrible. It doesn't matter. Mysterious bad guy just came on TV. He's on his way round now. <laughs> what? Mysterious bad guy <laughs> coming here right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is it. Guys, look, I just wanted to tell you, okay? Um, yeah. I'm a fraud. I don't have any super foraging powers. I just I just collect old tat. It doesn't matter. It's Thank you for this. Oh, Thank you for this. Yeah. Yeah. Hello! Ah! Oh, I'm CBBC Zed Petrie. Hey! I live next door, and I was just wondering if I could get a spare cup of sugar. <laughs> it's just Ed from CBBC. Uh, He's not mysterious. Or bed. And all he wants is some sugar. Yeah. Oh, hey, I foraged some sugar this morning. Goody. Oh. Oh. How much do you want? Is that enough there? Just... Oh. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Now, if you'd just uh, leave us to it. We're expecting company, you see. See you later. Bye. Wow. What a nice man. Do you know, all that time we didn't know that Ed Petrie lived next door. I know. Why didn't he come round for sugar earlier? Mm. <gasps> this is it. Guys, if this is it, I just want you to know that I've been deceiving you. My name's not really Red Melvin. Yeah? It's just Melvin, and I only like the colour red. What? Good admission. Well... Ah! Package for Mr R Melvin. I've been waiting for this for ages. You look like the guy that lives next door. Oh, yeah, we're twins. <laughs> right, what is it, Melvin? What is it? it? Yeah. What you got? What opening? Oh, it's nothing. Let's have a look. Come on, let's have a look. Nothing. Let's have a look. Come on, let's let's have have look. Come on rip it open. Everyone likes prezzies. I want to know what it is. Wow. What is it? Get, hold it up. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. <gasps> oh, <gasps> this is it. Oh, oh, guys, 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 guys. If this is it. If this is it, as everyone's being honest, when it's my turn to clean the loo, I use your toothbrushes. Oh, oh it's... Ah! Oh. 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 It's just it's frosty. frosty. It's frosty. <laughs> frosty, shouldn't you be off counting something yeah. somewhere? Yeah, Come on, get, get out, out of the way. way. Yeah, it's bad guys coming around. I what? think he's trying hey, to tell what? us something. Uh, well, you're a monster. Oh, I love, love, I love this game. It's a movie. Two, oh, it's a man gorilla. Two syllables. A gorilla inside of a man. Sounds like armpit. Sounds like... No. You're a yeti. Oh, he's going to give us another clue. OK. okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm mysterious. I'm mysterious. I'm mysterious. I'm a oh, mysterious bad, bad guy. guy. I'm mysterious. No! What? So it was you all.
all along. You stole Swindon. Why? Well, where did you put it then? Where is it? In oh. the fridge. Oh. I would have never looked in there. Never well, there's only one thing there. left to do then, isn't there? What's that? Get him! Get him! Come, come here, Frosty! Come on! Come on, yeah. on nobody! Yeah. Get out! Nope. Get him! Get him. Get him. Get him. Next come week on, on Zeros, Forager doesn't get a nasty shock. <laughs> well, that's a pity. Come on, get Red him. Melvin does nothing. <laughs> what again? And Foxman just doesn't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> Zeros, making their city, Ooh. sorry, their city, a safer I'm place. Really <laughs> it's the final game for the big prizes. That's right, and just Team B's are left. Now, today's is a very special Gondolator game, as we've got someone who is very excited to be here. It's the Gondolator's number one fan, Nelly Dweebner. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here at the end of the Gundulator. It's a dream come true. I've recorded every single Gundulator game ever. And I watch it every day before I go train spotting. <laughs> wow, that's dedication for you. That's what you need. Mm. Did you know the Gundulator belt's 1,828 centimetres long? It took 37.5 hours to weld together and it's painted using three coats of specially powdered coated paints. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's incredible knowledge from Nelly, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Let's test him with a more difficult question. Um, what is the gunj made out of, Nelly? <laughs> <laughs> the gunj is a compound called hydroxyethyl cellulose, which is a water-soluble polymer which derives from cellulose itself. <laughs> <laughs> Ever held hands with a girl? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, let's celebrate the gunter later by delivering Nelly Dweeb Nerd's five favourite ever souvenirs from all the previous gunter later games. Come on, Nelly, don't let us down. I won't let you down. It's gunter later time! Yeah! Okay, here's how it works. At the end of the gondulator over there is Nelly Dweeb Nerd. <laughs> I can't believe it's them. <laughs> it's really them. <laughs> I've got all shy now. I can't believe I'm breathing the same air as them. <laughs> they winched out all the stuff for the competitors. It's Pete and Dave in the flesh. <laughs> Whoosh. All right. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> I can't believe I've just said hello to Pete and Dave, they're celebrities, A-list! <laughs> so, Nelly's going to want to take away some souvenirs. He's a big fan of the Gondulator, can you tell? So you've got five levels to face, OK? With each level, the Gondulator gets quicker, and there are going to be five obstacles making it harder the more you progress. And there are five prizes to be won, one for each level. Ooh! Right, let's get this Gondulator moving. Over to you, Nelly. <sighs> Dr John, crank him up. I said it! <laughs> Level one. This is for the whole human race's favourite, the wheelie bean oh, pencil challenge. Oh, oh, Take your time. Take your time. I said you oh, more more left. Left. Okay, a big one up, Casey. Whoa. Good job. Well done. <laughs> These were featured in show nine on the third run. <laughs> Level two, the gondolator is getting faster. Abbreviate compact disc to CDs. It's so much quicker. Top CDs up for grab. Look at him go. Robots. Look at him go. Come on, Alex, you can do this. You may recognise from Melvin's bedroom. That's it. Okay, big job, big job. Oh! Alex with a robot leap malfunction. Boof! Ah, uh, yes, unfortunately, Alex's game is short circuited before it's barely begun. OK, assume the position. We're not going to gun you later. We're going to gun you now! Hold on, Alex. See you later. Bye, Bye. 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 Alex, meet my friend, Mr. Gunge. Please to meet you. Level three. The gunge later is moving much faster now. We're not bored here, even though we're going for the board game. Come on, Katie. Take okay, your Okay, you're reaching for the paella. Come on, Katie. Get in quicker. It's not 
easy object to grab hold of. Give it a good pull. Okay, big run up. Good job, good job. Well done. Well done. That's featured in show 10. <laughs> Bone collecting is of no interest for Katie. Paella makes a terrific bone deflector. Level 4. The cantillator is getting faster. Play games on trains, planes and automobiles. Customised games consoles are up for grabs. Here comes the tonk patrol. Another favourite from the third run in show eight. Katie using the stamp technique and a little helping hand from Nelly. He just can't help himself, Kenny. Level five. The gundulator is at its top speed. Well, top prizes are up for grabs. It's the DJ mixing desk. Katie. 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 Katie's getting into a stride there. She reaches for the lobster. Katie. Katie. Bit of an issue with the fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. Well done, well done. Final yeah, yeah, points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes! Lovely lobster leaping and a burst through the atmosphere to boot. Nelly's over the moon. be one of the best congelators ever. Let's talk to Alex first. Now, you've basically turned up, put on a gold suit, fallen over, gone into the gungeon, gone away with loads of prizes. How do you feel? Wet and happy. Now, what do you want to say to Katie for doing all that work for you? Well done. Katie, are you happy? Yeah. Let's take a look at what you have won for everybody. Look at this. We've got the board game, games console, wheelie and pencil sharpener, mixing station. Are you happy? Yeah. Lovely. Basil, it's all smiles over here. So, we've some very happy congelators, but uh, Alex, get out of the tank quickly because we're about to make a dream come true for one very excited little boy, Nelly Dweeb Nerd. Oh, say the magic words, Basil, and make my dreams come true. Happy to oblige. Assume the position. I'm already there. Safety first. We're not gonna ganja later. We're gonna ganja now. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's your favourite thing on the TV. It's the best moment of my life! OK. I oh, want thank you all! I love you all! Especially the congelator! Can I go again? Yay! Just like when you get off a roller coaster, the man says, you've survived. So join us next time for another of Bezel's Game 2. But between now and then, laugh a lot, just like this. <laughs> boom, boom! Next up, Lucian's transformed and eats the same old junk as Wayne. Bet he gets a bit hyper. Guess which insect spits on its food? A ladybird? <laughs> Brilliant. A fly? You got a laugh, haven't you? Or a hornet? Ghastly. Get the answer and loads more seriously strange stuff in Small Talk Diaries. Don't upset yourself, darling. They're not worth it. A brand new series, weekdays at 4.30 on the CBBC channel. <laughs>